Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this wheat ear bracelet. This is a match to the wheat ear earrings that I showed you before and here is a link at the icon so you could check them out and make a set. In this tutorial I will show you really easy step by step so I'm sure you will be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, you could subscribe if you still haven't then hit that bell button. In this way you will be notified when I release new video and you could make beautiful set for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows, hoodies, mugs, t-shirts, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and when you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission and you could find links down there in description and here at the icon. But let me stop talking and start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm going to use are three colors of 11 oz seed beads. You could use two colors if you want and you could use 10 oz as well. And uh, I'm using here a clasp, a lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use any clasp you like. And I'm using here size 10 beading needle. Here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And I use this flat nose pliers to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. But if you use regular beading thread, you won't need the pliers because they are made flat and they easily go through size 10 beading needle so so these are not obligatory and here I use scissors as well and now I'm going to take 40 inches of thread on my needle which is one meter and I'm going to start okay guys and I'm going to start by taking six blue beads and six yellow beads and I will alternate them Okay, I have my 6 yellow and 6 blue, so 12 in total, and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here I'm going to make a knot, and I will make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, and I pull. And now guys, this is what I have. And I will go through some beads here in this direction and pull tight, okay? Well now I'm going to take two yellow beads, go back through this yellow and through the following blue, just like that. Then through the following yellow, two yellows again through the yellow and through the blue exit out of the next yellow and I will continue this four more times two yellows go back and so on Okay, and now I have this. Now what I want to do is flip my work and go through this yellow bit. And why I'm flipping my work? Because I want to continue in this direction. Okay, and as I'm exiting from this yellow bit, I'm going to take two yellows and go back through the following yellow. And in this way, I'm forming the so-called herringbone stitch. You see how it looks? I think it looks like wheat ear. Okay, now I will take one blue bead and I'm going out of this yellow. 
take two yellows, go here through this yellow, fixing, one blue, go through the yellow, and I'm basically doing this until the end of this row. Two yellows, fix them, pulling to the center, one blue, go out to the following, and continue this three more times. Okay, and these are the two last two yellows that I add. Now I will go through this blue bead, and what I want to do is exit here after my next two yellows, and here I'm in a position to start a new row. And I'm taking two yellow beads, going to the center forming my next herringbone row and what I want to take are two more blue beads and exit out of the following yellow okay then again taking two yellow beads going here to the center of my work two blue beads exiting out of the following two more yellows go here fix two blue going in the next yellow two blue beads going in the yellow two yellows go here like that And here in my last row, pay attention where I go. I go through this yellow, not through this one, but through the one that's down there, okay? Because here I will step up in my next row. You see what I have now? Now guys, I'm taking two more yellows going here like I did before then what I need to take is one blue one yellow and one blue and I'm going in the next yellow bit two yellows go here continue my herringbone push to the center, fix like you did before and the difference is that here I add three beads a blue, a yellow and a blue here they are and I'm going through the following yellow
okay and I'm going to continue this until here and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next two yellows three beads two yellows three beads two yellows three beads and I will meet you here pause this video okay guys and when I continue my circle this is what I have and here is where I have to add my last three beads from this row and pay attention where I'm adding them I'm going through this yellow not through this one because when I go through this one I will step up in my next row okay and in my following row I will be adding only yellow beads so I'm adding two yellow beads going here to the center and then just passing through these three beads without adding any more beads okay then I'm going through the following two yellows go through these two yellows to the center of your work like that don't add any more beads and go through these three and through the following two yellows that point to the outside okay then two yellows okay like that and now guys I will do this until the end of this row so pause this video and meet me here where I finish my row hey guys and now I'm here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and now what I want to do is again go through these three beads and through all of the beads here and step up in my next row and in my next row I'm gonna be adding one seed bead here at the top then I'm going to take two blue beads and pass here through this yellow bead then take two blue beads and pass here through these yellows like that one yellow go through here and then take two more blue beads go here two blue beads go here one yellow one bead to the center two blue beads go through this yellow again two blue beads go here one yellow go here and now guys pause this video finish it up to here repeating this if you forgot how I did it just rewind it and repeat this from this side and I'll meet you here hey guys and now I have my last blue two blue beads here and I'm going here in this direction okay and here what I need are five blue beads Okay, I have my five here and as I'm exiting from this yellow I'm going here through the other yellow bead I'm just skipping this top bead here this top yellow bead then what I want to do is go through these two blue beads take just one blue and go through the following two blue beads and one yellow okay 
Then what I need are five more blue beads. Okay, I have my five. Skipping the yellow like that. Then go through these two blue beads. Take just one blue. Go through the following tree, just like that, and I will show you one more time, five blue beads going out of this yellow, skip the top and go through the next one, go through two blue beads here add just one blue go through these three beads okay now pause this video finish this if you forgot how i did it rewind it and see how i did these parts here and repeat this here and when i'm up to here I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last blue bead from this row. And what's coming up next is go through this yellow here, then go around this circle of five beads. Okay. Go through this top bead and through the following bead that's after the top. And what I need to add here are three blue beads and go through this middle blue bead that you just added in your previous row. Okay. Then I'm going to take three more blue beads. And as I'm exiting from this blue bead, I will go one bead before this top bead here. Then through the one that's at the top and one bead to the center after that. Then I'm going to take three blue beads, go through this middle blue bead here that is next to the yellow, take three blue beads, go through the one that's before this at the top at the angle then one just one bit to the center and take three blue beads and go through this middle one here okay you see how my earring is forming you see how my element is forming again three beads Go through here, go just one bead to the center, take three, go through this one, just like that. And then guys, continue doing this until this element is finished. And then I will show you how to make your knots. If you forgot how I'm doing this, rewind it. See how I'm doing this part and repeat this here. Yeah, okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now it's time to make my knots and cut my thread. And in this way, my element will be ready. This element I turned into earrings in one of my previous tutorials that I'm linking to at the eye icon. And now I will I will make it a bracelet. Okay, I'm going through those beads, making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made here. And then I'm pulling and when I pull, I have a really secure knot. And I could repeat this several more times. And when I'm ready, I will cut my thread. 
okay go through the next seed bead and cut your thread never cut next to a knot okay and i will make some more elements like this and i'll be back to show you how to connect them in a bracelet okay guys and i made some more elements and now i will show you how to connect them in a bracelet i make pink and blue you could use uh, make bracelet only out of pink or out of blue please don't write me in the comments that you don't like the col colors this is the first thing that could be easily changed and here i have about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'm going to show you how to start connecting your bracelet okay i have my first element here and here I will go through some beads with my new thread, which is about an arm span, I told you. And here I'm making a loop and I'm going once and twice. You could do even three times through this loop you've made and pull. And then guys, I will go out of this bead here and here what I need to do is cut this tail thread like that and here I will attach my clasp, okay? Okay, I have my clasp and I will take two yellow beads go through my clasp take two more yellows like that and go through this blue bead here at the edge and pull now this is what I have and I will go three more times around all of those beads here okay now as my clasp is attached I want to go through all of my beads and reach the other part of my element Okay guys, now I reach the other part of my element and what I want to do here is take just one yellow bead and <clears throat> I will go through this blue bead here. My thread is exiting out of here and I'm going through this blue bead. Then I will go through this yellow bead. Okay. Just like that then I'm going to take one more yellow and I will go to this middle blue bead back in circle then through this yellow again take one more yellow Go through this blue, just like that, and here through the yellow, then through these three blue beads, and back through all of the yellows. Okay, then I'm going to take one of my pink elements and as I'm exiting from this yellow bead here, I will go through this pink bead
you see where uh, this was my um, edge bead here of my pink element and I'm going through the one that's next to it the idea is to connect my two elements at three points connect them with three beads okay so this is the first one you see I have a loop between them between this yellow and this pink then I'll go through this yellow and through the following pink just like that then I will go through this yellow like this then through the two pink beads then here through this yellow okay and through these pinks here and now guys I have those two elements connected and I will go around here connect my next elements and when my bracelet is assembled I'll be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and I connected all of my elements the way I showed you and now I'm here at the edge where I'm going to show you how to attach your jump ring okay and I'm going to take my jump ring and I will take five yellow beads okay and as I'm exiting from this blue bead in this direction you see I will go back in circle through this same blue bead okay then I'm going to reinforce this part the way I showed you before when I was attaching my clasp and I will make some knots and I will cut my thread okay guys and now my wheat ear bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos and if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action you could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows hoodies mugs phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and um, when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. You could find links down there in description and here at the icon to check my store. Now, thank you so much for being with me and watching. Bye bye from me.